A great myth has enduring power. No matter where the story comes from, this myth begins during a very long winter. Ice, I empower you. Snow, I strengthen you. Winter rules all. Springtime, be gone. And hello everyone, it's your Gibbs here and welcome to the chat. Welcome to the very first live stream on hitbox.tv slash your Gibbs. And uh, look at all you folks in there, so glad to see you. I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today. Uh, definitely uh, going to be interesting to see some of the folks from YouTube stopping by. If I sound a little strange, that is because my mouth is half frozen. That's right, I just got back from the dentist about an hour ago. But you know what? The show must go on. And uh, that's the way it's going to be. If you haven't already, check out the poll. I'd love to hear your thoughts on which myths of the world is your favorite. I've seen a few of you have already voted. I'll leave that poll up there for a little bit as we get into this. Uh, I would also like to know if the volume is okay, if you guys are, can hear me just fine, that would be cool. If you just let me know in the chat, that would be great. And for those of you that were asking about Doctor Who, I am a huge Doctor Who fan. I have uh, watched all of the sort of modern Doctor Who episodes, not so much on the older ones, but definitely on the newer series. So I've seen all the different Doctors come and go. Uh, Rose would be my favorite companion, if you're curious about that. Uh, so that's that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing a Myths of the World, Stolen Spring. And uh, do we... I have never played this game. Uh, we're going to get through about two hours today. And then we'll pick up next Saturday for the rest of the game. We'll see how it goes. Trying to remember, the first one was called Chinese Healer. That was kind of cool. I like that one. But we got to play the second one, and of course, I'll be playing the third one as well when I get a chance. So, if you folks in the chat are ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road here. Actually, you know what? Let me check the audio sentence or audio settings here first. Turn that music down just a touch. All right, let's play. Uh, we are totally going to be playing on casual. Look over here, dear child. I am Vesna, the goddess of spring, and I need your help. I've been kidnapped, and judging by the power of this blizzard, it was probably Morana, the goddess of winter. But you're the child of spring. You have the power within you to bring warmth back to our world. First, go to Baba Yaga's cottage in the woods. I can get you as far as the village gate. The rest is up to you. Okay, why are we having a black screen right now? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought this game crashed for a second there. Uh, yeah, so here we have it. We are, I guess, the child of spring, which is interesting. Uh, do we want interactive help? I think we're going to say no for just a little change here. And we do expect to perhaps have Glitter Woman this time. Okay, that'll be an interesting change of affairs. We, of course, have had Glitter Man show up and leave all his evil glitter all over the place. Uh, hello to those folks that are joining in the chat. Thank you for stopping by. Glad to have you here. Uh, hopefully you guys have a different experience with Hitbox. I know from my own personal experience with it, the chat is definitely a better system. And if you haven't already voted in the little poll there, go ahead and let me know what your favorite myth of the world is. Alright, so let's talk to the lady here. Morana's already waged her winter war on these poor villagers. The gate's frozen shut. 
She'll try to intimidate you with her threats. Don't let her frosty fright tactics chill your bones. Here, take this. It'll help you melt your way through her icy barriers. My animal friends will also help you, so look for them. So she's on our side, right? Am I interpreting this correctly? I think so. I do think we can change the color of her names. I haven't played around with that, but uh, you guys can experiment with that if you'd like to see a different color for your name. Uh, personally, the lighter blue ones are a little more difficult for me to read, mostly because it's on the white background. But anyways, minor detail, we can have fun messing around with that. I would love to see some cake. Cake is delicious. Alright, so the Goddess of Spring brought me here to help her. Why me? And where am I? And why are all these twigs laying around here? Let's go ahead and grab all those before we forget. Uh, let's see what's over here. Another twig. And this fabulous gemstone. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Wow. Yes. Hi, goth girl. Welcome to the chat. I would say the darker colors are better, better like purple, red, uh, blue, the darker blues, I would say is a little better. But I'm sure you can tell, right? By looking at it yourself. Look at this little wolfie down here. Aren't you adorable? I wonder where your owner is. Oh, I have a nice cup of coffee myself, Roy. It's, uh, I'm gonna drink out of my left side of my mouth, but that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, purple's a pretty good color, I think, Julie. That that actually does work out nicely. So we have a shovel and five out of six branches. So we've got to find the other branch. I don't think we'll be able to do much of anything without that last branch. Yeah, I must melt this ice before I can go through, but it's too thick even for my spring brush. Oh, look at this. I have a spring brush. There we go. Let's see, where is that last twig? Aha! Let's go ahead and light that up then. Somehow. Now I need to light the fire. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and uh, shovel up that snow. And again. Maybe? There we go. Excellent, excellent. There we go, our first glitter! Yay! Let's see here. So we can actually play match three. Ha ha ha! Well, I might actually do that just because. Why not? I am definitely a big fan of the Epix hidden object scenes. Their art is just lovely. Oh, did I hint? I didn't actually mean to do that. Pigtails. Let's see. We have a slice, a pitcher. Oh, we're gonna have to make a pickaxe, are we? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we have an axe. Nope, no need for an axe. A reel and a basket. I love the uh, musical notes as we click on these things, it's nice. Okay, we're gonna play a little match three because can. Play it, yeah. <laughs> totally entertaining, match three. Look at us go. I think it's the sparkly ones that give us the object down here, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I do think the flower is very nice, actually. Very pretty. It changes colors when you hover over it, too. So we have ourselves a Firebird Feather. There we go. Now we're ready to march through the door. I don't know if this wolf's going to come with us or not, though. Alright, so what is this? Hmm. This lock appears to be nothing more than a simple jigsaw. If I'm meant to enter the village, I'd better get busy. Oh, okay. It's a good way to start up, I would say. A little simple jigsaw to get the heart rate going here. The blood pumping. Nothing too strenuous, of course. I don't know where that one goes, actually. 
Ah, there it goes. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'll put this one up there. And put this one over there. Oh, come on, where's that last piece? Wow, that is strange. I cannot actually get this piece. How am I supposed to get this piece? Oh, wait. Wow, that was <laughs> a little scary there. Oh no. So we have opened the door. Yeah, Nexus, it was, uh, makes sense to me that, you know, some people might have a little bit different usernames from YouTube to here, but that's okay. It all works out in the end. Or for you folks that perhaps haven't voted yet, go ahead and let me know which Myths of the World is your favorite. I'd love to see your thoughts on that. Uh, let's actually look at our diary, because we haven't actually looked at this. Uh, let's see. One out of one, okay. I was standing there gazing out at the longest winter in memory. I heard someone speaking. I turned around to see a strange woman in the mirror. She introduced herself as, as Vesna, the goddess of spring. She said she's being held somewhere against her will, and that I am the only one who could save her. Lowly old me, just a peasant. If I don't release Vesna, winter could last forever. She told me to find Baba Yaga, a wise old woman. I won't waste time asking why me. I'll just do it. So our objectives are really just to enter the village. And this butterfly, my gosh, it's like that deep, rich pink color that I I adore. But it's also kind of distracting and it's flying across our diary. But anyways, I do like it. It's very nice. Let's see, so we should go through the door. Oh, look, our wolf is gone. I just noticed that. Child of spring? I think not. You're just a peasant. I'll give you frostbite like you wouldn't believe. A wintry wonderland of my own will. There will be no more spring. But I like spring. Spring is really nice. Actually, I like all seasons. Oh no, I must save that little animal. I don't even know what kind of animal that was, but we need to save it pronto. Let's have a look. Let's see. Uh, we have to use our spring brush. Look at this thing. This is awful. Fancy pants. Hello, Mr. Michael. Welcome to the stream. There we go. Oh my gosh, rainbow! So we just pick this thing out of its water? <gasps> we get to name it. Alright, this is where we get interactive, folks. So go ahead and tell me in the chat, what do we name our little friend here? I know what I want to name it, but what do you think I should name it? See, that should have been a pool. <laughs> Jessica, Kira, Nexus, Glitterman. Oh, it's an ermine? Is that what this thing is? Okay. Ass Clown. Hmm. So many just delicious names you guys are throwing out at me, it's really hard to decide. Yeah, it is a pet ermine, I see that. Peter, in honor of the doctor. Well, okay, how about we do this? Snow... Oh, can we actually do that? There you go, Snow Peter! There we go, good suggestions, thank you. I'm not sure about Ass Hat, or sorry, Ass Clown. Although Cookie is a good name, too. Alright, let's go inside and see... Oh, hello there, there's a gentleman here. Oh, hi. I haven't had a visitor since last fall. Looking for Yaga, eh? I don't know why you would want to see her, but okay. Is he supposed to be Canadian? Like, what's with this A here? I mean, he didn't do it right. It's supposed to be a little more natural, eh? Like, not, like, forced A. 
Her cottage lies deep in the forest. You'll know it when you see its foundation, a chicken foot. Yeah, I can forge the gate lock key, but I've not been feeling well. Eh? This long winter's killing me. I need a nap, and then a bite to eat. <laughs> if you're any good at cooking, maybe you can make something for me. Okay. The guy just met me. He's already asking me to make him a meal. Wow. That was too much. He didn't even tell me what he wants. He just walked away. Crazy. Yeah, we'll just strap a ladder to our back because that's just how things happen in this kind of world. Let's see here. We received a special kind of item. We give this tangled rope to your pet. Hermans are smart. Little creatures that can help you with your tasks. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm kind of curious. Oh, I guess because of its shape. It's a rope. I can cook food here with the help of a cauldron. All right. He's taking a much needed nap. I'll let him sleep till the soup's ready. Oh, so he's making soup. Ooh, I like soup. Uh, do I like to bake or cook? Uh, I like to eat, even though that doesn't really count for too much. Uh, I like the idea of baking and cooking. <laughs> uh, I'm just not very good at it. I take a note of this. I will surely need it. Okay, so that's a piece we need. I do like takeout. Well, I don't like quick service restaurant takeout. I I prefer more ethnic takeout. If that makes any sense. A strange looking pedestal. I can feel a hole at the top, as if something is missing, like a ladder. Totally a ladder. Red velvet cake, that does sound delicious. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Uh, let's see what our diary says here. Okay, so we have that, yes. Okay, the smithy needs the kind care of a sympathetic stranger. I'll make him some of my grandmother's soup. Right, so I have to gather some soup ingredients. Yay, glitter time. Yeah, I do like Chinese food. I like Thai food. I like Vietnamese food. I like Portuguese food. Uh, that's a pretty good start, I would say. Oh, I also like Middle Eastern food as well. Where I live, I'm, I'm pretty lucky because we have... A, Access to a lot of different ethnic foods. I mean, there technically there. I don't even know if there's really such a thing as Canadian food. To be honest with you, we're just a melting pot of other cultures all together. I mean, I guess you could say maple syrup, <laughs> but I don't know how you can necessarily have a meal made out of maple syrup. I'm not a big fan of McDonald's food. Uh, I think it's fine. I mean, it's inexpensive, and but I, I certainly don't uh, necessarily go out of my way for it. Poutine, yes, that is definitely Canadian. Uh, a lot of the restaurants up here do have poutine on the menu for sure. Pancakes? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think International House of Pancakes. That's kind of an American chain of restaurants. So I don't really think of that as Canadian food, per se. Like, we have a lot of Canadian sort of items, if you will. Like, we have coffee crisps, for example. You know, chocolate bar. Uh, Canadian bacon, yeah, that's true, too. Canadian bread? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's different than American bread be honest with you. So what am I supposed to be doing with this rope? Oh, there's our empty cauldron. There's our rope. 
Okay, inventory bar. Don't get too excited now. Thank you. Great, so let's go ahead and boil up ourselves. Nope, that's not where I'm going to boil up that cauldron. Who wants some yummy hot water? So we're going to need to get some mushrooms. Where am I supposed to get those from? No, that's where that lock is. What do you want to talk about Hawaii? What, what is cooking in Hawaii? Uh, do we actually have a map in this game? I'm not even sure if we do. Oh yeah, we do. There we go. Canadian cheese? Yeah, that's pretty good. There's also Canadian wine. There's lots and lots of different Canadian wines. What am I doing here? Uh, to do. I don't know if we should really go back here. A Canadian Canadian? <laughs> Actually, you know what? There's a, there's beer called Canadian. Molson Canadian. Oh, go back here. There you go, Kira. You should go and say hello to that Swedish gentleman. Maybe he'll buy you some cake or something. Who wants to play that musical instrument? So we have a pickaxe, we have a half of a light crystal, crazy ladder that somehow we've got strapped to our back here. There's got to be more to do in here. No, apparently not. Hawaiian pizza, that you guys are just gonna make me hungry again, aren't you? I have not played Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, although I've, I won't say I've watched videos, I, I'm aware of it, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we actually do have to reach up there and chisel at that. Yeah, it's supposed to be relatively scary, but I don't know, I think scaring. Fear is interesting to me because sometimes like jump scares I don't find them scary I just find them startling. For me an intense fear of being alone or in the dark is a lot more scary than jump scares. That's just me personally. Oh strawberries, warfire, how could you do that to me? I was actually at the grocery store just before I started the live stream getting some stuff for a barbecue later and I stood in front of hundreds and hundreds of strawberries and I was just salivating all over them. Delicious strawberries are delicious. Cherries are okay, I just don't like the pits. I actually did get some gluten-free chocolate brownies. Uh, I did buy some of those. Another hapless critter victim. He's trying to trap all of Vesna's helpers. Oh no. Poor thing. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Must do something with this trap. I happen to have a fresh ladder. And a noisemaker, I'm sure. Yeah, you guys are totally making me hungry. <laughs> uh, the first hoppa. Yeah, well, I would say that mystery case, uh, or sorry, Mr. Cases and Puppet Show, I actually recorded those at the exact same time. I just happened to upload one before the other. But yeah, you're right. Technically, Mr. Cases tarot card is my f technically first. Um, close enough, though. I, I kind of treat them all the same, because I recorded those, and then I didn't do any more hoppas for months. After that, so you better be sharing those strawberries, Luke. I, I would like some, please. So we got this here. I bet my ermine friend could carve this into a screwdriver. Wow, he is talented, Mr. Snow Peter. I could have called him Salt Peter. That would have been fun too. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we can get this poor little fella out of here soon enough. I don't think the screwdriver is going to be the one that does it, no. The tool's not precise enough. Huh. His name is not cute. Ah. His name is by democracy, Kira. I think that counts for something. Oh, speaking of strawberries, hello there. Where have you been all game? I have been waiting for you. Bunny rabbit? No. There's the brink of consciousness. That was Oscar's mask right there. Did you see it? There, now we get the bunny. Wait, am I gonna have to click like everything on the screen here? Yeah, it did look like Magneto's helmet. It sure did to me, too. Mushrooms. I bet you we're gonna need that for our stew. Or our soup. Fluffy Snow Peter, that would have been a good one too. Fluffy is always a, a favorite name for uh, cats, I would say. But certainly, you know, not reserved only for cats. I would say this ermine is fluffy. Totally appropriate. I just wish they had more spaces for us to make names. Well, actually, I couldn't even put in a space. So we should knock on the door and say, hey, I've got your... Oh, I can't even knock on the door. Huh. Never mind. What does our map say? It says we have something to do in here, so... Okay, we can take this vent off. Snowball? Well, yeah, that's a good name, too. There's our door hanger, which is a very strange place for us to hide it. Oh, I wanted to play some music. Didn't let me. Anything white, snow is definitely a great name for it. <laughs> Here, there's your soup. Pour us up a couple bowls, please. Mm. It's nice to meet someone who knows how to forage for mushrooms. So, the gate lock. It's made of gold, but I don't have any. Okay. I'm guessing you don't have any gold either, so you'll have to look around. And I'll need you to sketch out that lock on the board in my forge. Word for I can't open and close every single door I come across. You know that. You silly. Uh, what do we have here? We need to find some gold for the smithy to forge. Trap tool. Ah, so that's gonna go save the day with poor little Squirrely. How does that feel for ya? It's just not very dramatic. I like the noisy doors. That one was a little too quiet. There you go, little fella. Run away, squirrel. Oh. The little peasant is quite the humanitarian. Well, you might as well give up, or the next trap will be yours. Burn the witch. So was that just trick me into helping her? Like, she seemed to morph out of that outfit there. Oh no, it's so cold. I must reach for the magic brush. I live in Canada and I want one of these magic brushes to get rid of the cold. Pretty please. 
wipe this all off the screen here. This is a very interesting game mechanic. There, oh, I see. So we're gonna get a rainbow every time we get to use that. Spring brush, that is great. Fortunately, I have the magic spring brush indeed. Golden bracelet, I think that's gonna help us out. We'll go give that back. Yeah, the brush is really neat, I like it. Do I just go give it to the dude? Nope, apparently I have to do it all by myself. That's not gonna do me any good, is it? You need a container, I'm assuming? Dude, you didn't even have the soup that I slaved over. Here's his model board. I need to sketch the lock here. Hmm. So what do I need a long pole? Something, oh, back in here, okay. Paint your way to warmth. That's totally a great idea. I should sketch the missing piece on the wall over there. Okay. The embers are too hot. I need to find a way to get the charcoal without burning myself. And now I have charcoal, okay. So let's go ahead and sketch this out here. We are totally an awesome artist. It's Saturday, Kira. It's take a day off homework day. You got all day Sunday to do that good stuff. Maybe. Okay, how do I get this off the wall now? Carving knife. Now do I give it to him? Yep. Well, thank you. That was very quick of you. Well done. Oh, you're going to watch the VMAs tomorrow? Yeah, I'm really excited about The Walking Dead Season 2. I am waiting for the full season to come out, and then I'll be recording those for sure. I know that Michael, he... Michael's Originals, he records them as full episodes. So if you're curious to see a full episode of that, you should check out his channel. Uh, let's kind of go there. Cool. Olga K, yeah, Olga K is a pretty big YouTuber too. Whoa, what kind of animal was that? Well, I know it was a bird, but it was interesting. Yeah, The Walking Dead definitely has gore in it, but I don't know, like, Alex, you watched The, the Wolf Among Us, and that's pretty gory, too. I have to plug and seal the hole first. Interesting. It's locked. Ooh. What? That's totally a good place for a long pole to go. Oh, I gotta cut it first. Okay. So now what do I have to do? Oh, we can look in this window here. Could this key get me inside the cottage? Maybe we can use our new long pole. Inside the witch's hut's interior. Yeah, for those folks that have actually played the first Walking Dead, 
game. What are your thoughts? Like, is it a gory game? I mean, if you compare it to The Wolf Among Us... So we're looking for flower cards. We still have carving knives, so that's good to know. There are some things there, but it's too dark for me to see. Let's go back to the boat. We have something going on here. We'll take this uh, empty jar. Okay. If I had something sharp, I could get the bark. I have a carving knife. I enjoyed the fable, the mature take on the fables from The Wolf Among Us. That's what I enjoyed. Oh, I guess we have to give our tree bark to our friend, Snow Peter. Cork. Cork it up. Oh, I guess we gotta put some hot oil on that first or something. So what do we need an empty jar for? Good question. Well, it looks like we're supposed to be here anyways. So what am I missing? Oh wow, something there? A duster? Uh, well, we can go inside. I don't think this is dusty though. No, I didn't think so. Is the dust. Ah! Yeah, it's just even too thick even for my magic spring brush. That's not good at all. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, I would say the dark parables are... I don't want to say they're childish. Because I don't think they are, but certainly not at the same maturity as <laughs> The Wolf Among Us. Uh, but yeah, no, The Dark Parables, I love those stories as well. Well, thanks, Goth Girl, for stopping by. We'll see you next time, or see you later. That is a lot of Fable comics to have read. Oh, okay, the chimney up here needs to be swept of its cobwebs. I've got myself a flint rock. That's going to be super handy. Yeah, definitely lighter version of Fables for sure. But I mean, we can only re really say they're lighter versions because we have something else to compare to. I think in general, like, Fables are... I don't know, I guess like the Grim Tales are definitely darker than the Fables, if that makes sense. a candle, I should light it. So how does that help me at all? I know I'm going to need that star to get into this cage here. Why did I need to light the candle? Oh, okay, cool. Wipe all that off of there. Uh, I don't read comics, uh, per se. Uh, I tend to read more novels. Let's see, what do we have here? A bunch of stuff that's going to be super helpful for our adventure. Where's that piggy bank? You know I need to smash it. Aww. Got to be one in here somewhere. It's missing its hammer. Okay. Nice. That worked out well too. Oh, I see another <laughs> axe missing its pole.
definitely anime has replaced a lot of people's comic book reading, I would suggest. It seems anime is becoming more and more popular. Uh, what do we have here? Glasses. And stained glass right there. Or sorry, yeah, manga. That's what I meant to say. I didn't mean to say read. Anime. Chisel out the star is what we're going to do next. Reading books is cool. Absolutely nothing wrong with reading books. Okay, so how am I supposed to melt this frozen key? Maybe I throw it in here. Because I do have my nippers. Yeah, definitely the Crim Tales are not for children, but you know, I, I think in general, children's fiction has changed over the years to be a little softer. Even the early Disney cartoons were a heck of a lot darker than the current ones. Trap glue and a mouse. Is that... are we gonna feed that to Snow Peter? I think that might work. Maybe. Back here. Oh, this is gonna help us out with our boat. And then we're gonna put our mouse in the hole. Oh, that might have worked. I go through reading phases where I'll read two or three books in a week and then I won't read for a month or two. Uh, it's just that's how I read. What? with all these water monsters. That was a terrifying journey, but I managed to reach the shore. Let's see what we have here. We've got a couple of choices here. I guess we'll see what's going on over here. Three out of four on that side. We can catch those fireflies in our empty jar. And what do we have over here? Okay, let's see here. Let's find out what's going on here. Don't have a lot of things to pick on just yet. Uh, Mr. Squirrel is back for more adventures. Looks like there's another pair of nippers in here. There we are. A pineapple, which again reminds me of the TV show Psych. I'm up to season five on that show, which is insanity. Such a quirky show. I just like the idea of all those deductions he does. Kind of reminds me of like a, a goofy Sherlock Holmes. If you folks have watched that show, Psych, let me know about it. I'm curious. Oh, there we go. Pineapple. What exactly is this thing here? Oh, it's this necklace here. Ah. Hey, how come I can't do match three? That's interesting. Yeah, that's where I've been watching Psych on uh, Netflix. There we go. Yeah, th that is true. They have no... They don't have any more seasons. I... Yeah. It's true. I haven't seen the show The Mentalist. I don't know. Is it comical at all? Or is it serious? Oh, who do we have in here? Welcome to my home, weary traveler. You may use the portal on my throne if you bring me the spring blooms. 
When I was younger, I used to be uh, heavily addicted to reading Sherlock Holmes novels or any kind of crime mystery novel. Only the chosen one can pluck these blooms. I want to make sure you're not a winter wraith in disguise. <laughs> a winter wraith? Wow. Enter the castle. Find some spring blooms for the princess. Would you like a pet mouse instead? All the cool kids have their own pet mouse. It's awful dark. How about my little pet mouse? Go. Train him well. Oh wow, helpful mouse is helpful. Uh, anything else we can do here? No, let's just go forward. Oh, welcome back, Joy. Yeah, Roy, I'm actually enjoying the game as well. Uh, so far, I've, I, I can honestly say that I'm enjoying this more than I, uh, more than my experiences with the Chinese healer. Now, I, I, I adored of Fiends in France. Now, that was my first Myths of the World, so. Yeah, I remember the, all those mice in Trail of the Twister? How they catch all those mice? Was it mice? No, it wasn't uh, some other vermin? Uh, it must have been mice, right? Okay, so that's the code for there. Something's going on over here. Covered in frost! Yeah, I think it might have been rats. Same idea, some sort of rodent. Rainbow! Or was it mice? Oh. I did enjoy a trailer of Twister. I, I actually like that. Uh, one of my That is definitely one of my top five Nancy Drew games. Oh, we should give this to Snow Peter. He wants a trout. Nom nom. Wait, that's it? Oh, <laughs> it's like, he's gonna eat the bone too? No, he's not gonna eat the bone. He's, uh, he's good. All right, so let's put these into place here. Oh, okay, we don't even have to bother. So what do we have here? Amazing, these must be the flowers that I need. Spring balloons. Let's go give it back to the lady. There you go, lady. Enjoy those. You are blessed. Please use my portal to continue your journey. Take this, too. May it serve you well. Uh, welcome to the chat, Neon. Thanks for joining. I hadn't played Nancy Drew games until a year ago, and I got hooked pretty hard, obviously. I finished, what, 18 games in a year? 16 games in a year? Still going strong. So let's see here, what can we do? There are five empty spaces. Interesting. I am digging the Cloak of Invisibility, though. Missing a part? Uh, Nexus, I don't have any control over commercials. Uh, I'm not partnered here at all. Uh, it's all done by Hitbox, so keep that in mind. I don't get any payment whatsoever from Hitbox at all, and that's fine. I'm doing this for fun anyways. So let's see here. What do we got here? Well, it looks like we still need to be in this zone here. Uh, cloak of invisibility. Not 
sure what she... Oh, put the fireflies in there? They just magically go in there? <laughs> okay, cool. Let's see... I will carve myself up a pumpkin! And play some music while we're at it. What am I going to be painting? Maybe the rooster? Painted rooster, yeah! That's a lovely purple for our rooster friend. Can't play without a bow. Well, we better get ourselves a bow. I use ad blocker on most sites, but I do whitelist it or turn it off for other sites, like for YouTube. I don't use ad blocker on YouTube. I suck it up. That's just for me, for me personally. Obviously, you're all entitled to do what you want to do. So what do we have here? Fiddle and a bow and a sunflower. Where the heck's this bow? There we go. Let's see. Five out of five gemstones. So that's probably gonna go down here. Hello. Little jars. Oh, one of these puzzles, I see. Uh, start with the heads, if we can. And then we'll do colors. Do bear. Kitty cat. Let's go to the forest glade! I hope you're not allergic to bees, child. These killers have an icy sting. Okay, icy sting, that is different. But I have an invisibility cloak. I think it's gonna work like a charm here. <laughs> Burn the witch. <laughs> now I'm Harry Potter! Good, they're gone. I and I must press on with my rhymes and my song. Where am I supposed to go here? I don't even have anything in inventory right now. Oh, there we go. Sickle, get that out of there. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, we have to do something fancy here. Clean up all this ugly, ugly snow. And rainbows! Whoa, jeez! Oh my god! That startled me! Oh, you're having issues watching the stream? Aw, oh, that's too bad. Is it the child of spring? At last, I've been waiting for you for a long time. You were an orphan, raised by two people who loved you as their own, but they found you in a bed of lilies. That was no accident. You were born to protect springtime as long as you live. The goddess of winter is afraid of you, 
for she knows you're the only one she can't turn to ice. You've got to find the magical Firebird Fife and go to Morana's domain, where she's holding Vesna captive. Sounds good. Even though you scared me. Oh boy. Run! I'll distract them. Give up. Draw on your own strength, and Father Frost will help you. Hold on. Yeah, I was wondering about that pit. Where am I? This looks like Sony's home. But I am all alone. I have to look around and find some clues. Yeah, that wolf was a meanie. Not good. This will come in handy while I search for all the parts of the snow globe. Ooh, rabbit. Yep, she indeed imprisoned spring. If we don't save the day, there will be no more spring. So we have some sort of a snow globe schematic. And that's how it's going to look. I finally met with Yaga in the forest, but it wasn't in a happy encounter. Out of nowhere, an avalanche of ice wolves attacked us. All I remember is that I was running and I fell deep into some dark hole. Now I have awakened in someone's cottage. Vesna came to me in a dream and mentioned Father Frost. Interesting. Frozen bees. Princess in the castle wants proof that I am not a winter wrath. Yeah, that's right. We did that already. Our object are find out more of where you are and there's that butterfly going by again grief nails so we're gonna need something to get those nails out of there now I can do match three no I didn't want to leave uh, as we're coming up onto the first hour of the live stream, I would love to hear your feedback on how things are going with Hitbox. So if you guys just want to drop a quick comment in the chat, let me know how things are going with Hitbox. Your experiences so far, likes, dislikes, that would be very helpful. So we got to paint something here. Maybe we gotta paint the egg. Hey, what's this symbol? I think that's some sort of symbol. Well, thanks for all your feedback. That's greatly appreciated. I did a, a lots of YouTube, well I shouldn't say lots, I did a, a dozen or so YouTube streams and uh, I had my own personal issues with it, but uh, I did get a lot of, I don't want to call them complaints, but I guess concerns from people that were in the chat as well. So, thanks very much. If you haven't already done so, just don't forget to follow the Your Gibbs channel. Um, perhaps all of you have, maybe a few of you haven't yet. That way you'll get emailed when I do live stream here on Hitbox. Thank you. One thing I've noticed about Hitbox is you'll actually get all sorts of different languages here. And that's why I entitled my stream with the ENG at the front, just to signify English. So I guess we're ready to rock and roll here maybe? The embers are white hot. So we're gonna have to deal with that soon enough. Let's go outside. Sweet child, you're awake. Well, I found you last night. You'd nearly frozen to death. I'm Father Frost. Luckily, my forest friends told me about you and Yaga. 
We found you, just in time. Now that you've healed, your journey will continue. Yeah, totally Gandalf. See, that's that's one of the reasons why I love Hitbox, is when Nexus posted Gandalf, that's exactly what I was seeing on my screen, not 30 seconds later. You should sooner. go see Lord Vladimir, who lives on the other side of the forest. Here, this will light your way. What am I getting from Gandalf? A snow globe pedestal, okay. I can work with that. Dumbledore. There's something glittering inside the bush, but I can't grab it without being scratched. Well, I don't want to be scratched. That doesn't make sense at all. Something is planted here, but it's not growing well. Well, let's go down to the mine entrance. Oh yeah, now I see that, Roy. I actually forgot to put world in there. Hang on a second. Funny how nobody mentioned that an hour into the stream. <laughs> uh, I can actually... Uh, there's a really nice dashboard with Hitbox, which uh, allows me to do... Uh, well, post the poll. Wow, I can't believe how even the poll is. You guys are kind of crazy that it's across the board. Uh, I can post little sticky chat messages and, uh, you know, post to uh, Twitter and Facebook just right from the dashboard, which is really nice. Let's see here. The crank is missing. I do have the crank, though. Gee, thanks, Kira. You could have pointed that out to me an hour ago. Why are you so mean to me? I don't know why. Let's see. Well, we should look here and see what this door requires. It's missing a piece. No, it's no problem, Roy. I'd rather you point out these little issues with uh, things so I can actually address them. That goes for all of you, right? If you see something that's a little off, just let me know and I can take a split second or two and uh, address it for sure. Yeah, definitely tough love. Thanks. Uh, what does this little friend want? He is hungry. He wants me to make him soup. I guess I'm going to have to make him soup too. No pain, no gain. I don't know. That's true for running. I don't know if that's true for live streaming. <laughs> Alright, I have a bunny shape. I know where that goes. Let's get back inside the hut here. Oh, hello there. Oh no. Moriana will stop at nothing to prevent me from saving spring. She is an evil witch. Scrub up all this yucky... Snow and ice. Rainbow! Oh, don't worry about me. She can't hurt me. I'm Father Frost. Hello, Father Frost. Yeah, maybe we're gonna play a little cooking mama here as well. I don't know. Well, maybe I am just a little chilled. But that's nothing a hot cup of tea won't cure. Oh, he wants a cup of tea. Wow. Oh my. Father Frost looks hurt. I need to help him at once. What kind of tea does he want anyways? Yep, totally making tea now. Ooh. What's up with that? Oh, I see. One out of four. Glitter. Aren't there like 10 different Cookie Mama games? Like one for every season or something like that? That's a time management game, right? From what I remember? Hey, there's always time for a little bit of a hot cup of tea. And those mittens look comfy too. 
Capricorn. Ah, so there you go. Anybody Capricorn in the audience today? I'm going to save that one for a little bit later. And I want the Ocarina of Time. Where is the Ocarina of Time? A medallion. Okay. Really, Cooking Mama med Medieval Times. That's crazy. Ah, oh, so we do have a Capricorn in the audience. There you go. I clicked that just for you. Now, where is this Ocarina of Time? Oh, it's this musical instrument over here. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, we've got some keys here. You're a Taurus, Kira. Well, you know, I guess we probably have one of every month in here, don't we? I'm a Libra. All right. Well, you know, what? we can just uh, do a little match three here. There we go. We probably found that just from that, or not? There we go. Gardening Mama games? Wow. Mama's a busy, busy lassie, isn't she? Hey, there was a worm inside this nut. <laughs> oh my gosh, we, he nearly ate the worm. Let's have a look at our map here, see what we have for... Oh, it looks like we could still do something in there, but I want to go to the Linden Grove. Yeah, that's right, I said Lassie A. Wow, that's my Canadian slash Scottish showing through. Would he like a worm? I don't think he eats worms. Oh, he does too. Oh, hi Rose, thanks for joining the chat. This is the first time I've live streamed on hitbox.tv and uh, if you haven't already posted in the poll of which is your favorite myth of the world, go ahead and do that. So we have a lot of stuff that we're collecting here. We're going to have to figure out what to do with it all. So that's going to be where we're going to put our snow globe. We need one more piece still. Uh, let's see here. Oh, looks like we're done here now. And welcome back. Compost? What's with all these crazy terms? Oh wow. Oh jeez. Wow, that's right at the door there. Let's see. Oh, okay, a mine key. That's part of the mine key, is it? Okay, we'll gather up all those. We should be ready to rock and roll into the mine. Yeah, I'm really accurate. Unless I'm playing Resident Evil 6 and then my accuracy is not so good. Uh, these little dragonflies are all gathered in the center. I need to rotate their rings to make paths to their nooks. The intricate maze will take them home. Okay. Oh, I see. We gotta do this. Around there. Fly away with a deep voice. I, how deep is deep? Hi Rachel, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining the chat. Hitbox is where we're at. Deep blue sea. I am Batman. I don't know how to do Batman voice. 
See, this is a pretty good door here, I have to admit. Yeah, that's more of a gruff voice, yeah. I agree. Okay, what do we have going on in here? I see something glimmering in the dark. I must illuminate this area somehow. Uh, how many of you actually played the new Puppet Show game? Uh, one thing I found, especially in the last half of the game, was the English uh, was not, <laughs> not the greatest. I think the translation didn't get enough time or something, I, I don't know. I, I love the game, it was definitely nice to see the Puppet Show series get back to its roots, or at least get back to being good. Uh, but uh, yeah, just the, the English it was not the greatest. Yeah, it was kind of off. If you haven't played it and you plan on playing it, I, I think you'll enjoy it. Nancy is definitely uh, showing up in a lot of Epix games, which is actually the same developer that I'm playing right now. So we have a ladle here? Where is this ladle going? Oh, we actually just ladle- I thought we were going to ladle up some soup. Glowing embers, okay. So you like this neck? uh... Puppet Show Nexus, this was a good one, was it? Oh my, that was close! Yeah, I enjoyed it, Roy, it was really good. There have been a ton of Epix games this year, holy cow, and still more to come, too. They have been super busy. And, you know, with them adding kind of dialogue choices, too, to their games, and multiple endings, and... The developers are definitely doing uh, much better these days, that's for sure. I want soup too! Somebody <laughs> cook me up a soup! I haven't actually tried a Snark Busters game. I, I don't even own them. I, I, I'm aware of them. Definitely they're more old school hidden object games, but... Another squirrel! Come on, Arrow, I want you. Where is this eagle? Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, I didn't realize there was three of the Snark Busters, but... Yeah, I would say they're kind of old school. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I, I like the... Uh... The animations were definitely well done in Puppet Show, the new Puppet Show. Come on, pull that out. This looks like a snow globe piece among the jewels, but I have to pick it out carefully. So... My golden shears aren't going to do the trick? Let's have a look at our map, see what we have here. Oh wow, it looks like we got something to do everywhere. Teacup. Oh, looks like they did a spelling error on teacup. Put the space in the wrong spot. And we have more spring brush, yay! Come on. We have to make a cup of tea for our friend. Rainbow! Clean, cool water. How much do we actually need? Apparently we need a jug of it. So 
we should go back and make a cup of tea. Rainbow for the win. Where am I gonna make this cup of tea for you, buddy? Oh, I have to, this is my... Oh, I didn't even know what this thing was. That's how we make tea? Oh, we gotta put the sage in first. <laughs> I nearly put the compost in. What? Yeah, it's a teak up. <laughs> we have to go back this way. Is this game missing Batman? Is that what it's missing? Crowbar! Oh, wow, you're right, Kira. It is totally missing a crowbar. Sage! This will help Father Frost for sure. Put that into his cup of tea. Yeah, compost tea is the best ever. Add some water. It is my favorite tool. What am I supposed to be doing? I have to close the lid? <laughs> what? Why didn't it come with a lid? Where the heck's the lid? Ah, it's gotta be hidden in here, isn't it? Snip, snip, snip! There's our lid. I'm excited for this cup of tea. Interesting way for us to set this up here. <laughs> yeah, compost tea is super delicious. Thank you. This will help me warm up. Let me tell you more about the firebird I mentioned earlier. Sure, tell me about the firebird. The firebird lives inside the cold mountain in the north. The only thing that can wake her from her winter sleep is a magical fife. Vladimir, Lord of the North, knows the location where you can find this firebird fife. Travel past the drawbridge to find him. But beware! It's likely his land is ravaged by Morana worse than here. You haven't much time left. Go and find the Firebird Fife. Take this. You might need it. Is he gonna give us a pickaxe? What's he gonna give us? He gave us a owl. Okay, well that's gonna help us with the jewel. Yeah, like seriously, I think that sage would have had manure on itself. <laughs> Besides, I think manure tea would, is organic, isn't it? We are ready to rock and roll with our snow globe. Let's get in here and put that on there. <laughs> yep, more sage for everyone. Flowers. Uh, oh, I see we got a... This is kind of neat. Give him the apple. Such a tiny flower. Yay, we fixed it. And we're ready to go to Swan Lake. An intruder? Bah! Leave me alone! It seems I've startled the little guy. I should try to gain his trust. By making him a cup of tea? Or a bowl of soup? Maybe you want some toast? What do you want, mister? I'm in the mood to cook for you. Oh, this can't be good. What's going on here? This wood is slightly singed. This looks like a place for a lantern. Oh, wow. My 
So I mentioned earlier in the chat that I just got back from the dentist, right? So my mouth is actually like, you know that point when you're, it's almost fully thought out, but it tingles like crazy? Yeah, that's what I feel like right now. Yes, it is numb. Exactly. Ooh, what's this? A tangled the book saw. There you go, a snow peter. I don't think that little guy needs a Vicodin, but you never know. We all have our issues. So look here. Well, I had a uh, filling put in my mouth, so they give you a needle for that, right? Otherwise, it's not. It's gonna hurt. Uh, whiskey would definitely help. I don't know what it would help with, <laughs> but it would be good. Actually, I haven't had whiskey in a long time. Rainbow! We want compost whiskey? Mmm. I don't know. So, he is afraid of wraths, and I apparently look like one. Did I just... Oh, we have more glitter. Everything's all fluty in here now. Wow, that is a cool apple. I want that apple. It is a compost meal. <laughs> the compost sage generation, yeah. Sure, why not? This eagle is missing its wing. Well, where the heck is it then? There it is. Alex, I hope you have a great day and lots of fun with hope today. The radioactive apple, I bet you it would taste good though. Oh, you know what? It probably wouldn't need any preservatives. Mosquito repellent filters. Okay. Oh, he gets a horn, does he? Oh, it's not a horn. Well, thanks for stopping by in the stream. We'll see you next time. Let's see here. I am already here. Where? What am I supposed to be doing here? Putting this candle in there. There. Ooh, that's a cool lamp. I could make a wish. Somebody throw me some change. Whoa, that's not it? What about over here? Yeah, there we go. That pushed them all away. Bye bye. Oh, that's where our fox is going to go. And it looks like we have a puzzle. You have a bucket of pennies? I need those pennies. To make all the wishes. Uh, let's see here. I kind of like that we can go backwards with these ones. Uh, it's nice that I don't have to avoid being one step next to them. I like it. I approve of this puzzle. <laughs> a bucket of sage to go with our bucket of pennies. That's party time talk right there. 
Mm, you know what? Maybe I'll move this one all the way over. Okay, let's go all the way over. See if we can get this one out of the way over here, and then we should be all set with this puzzle. Move that one over there. This one isn't a hard puzzle, it just takes a bit of time. And we'll move this one over here. And there we go. So now we have a pan flute <laughs> of sorts. So we can't quite get to that yet. Let's uh, go here then. Why do I need a pan flute? He is missing his instrument. There you go, buddy. Wait, what did that actually do? Now I really want to make a wish. Oh wow, okay. I didn't even see this here the first time. And there's our radioactive apple. Say goodbye to it. Yeah, I think I would enjoy the crowbar bucket. Since we're offering up buckets of stuff. Let's see here, what do we got? Dragonfly one of one. I need a piece of bread. There we go. Let's see. What the oh, there's our pheasant there. And we need a unicorn. Unicorn. Ah, let's do match three because can. Nom nom. Radioactive apples are the best ever. Wow, what's with all the shakiness here? Finding the shakiness very distracting. <laughs> Come on, game. We need to get... There we go. Now we just need one more. That'll do. Here, have an uh, apple. Or something. Ooh, I like rainbow cookies. Magic apple seeds? What am I supposed to do with those? Something here, apparently. Uh, what are we doing with those? Oh! There we go, stab that package. Radioactive compost tea, now we're really getting specific, aren't we? So basically, Snowpeter is like a knife able to cut in. Uh, I don't know if he wants gold. Like, what is he even... Oh, you know what? We're gonna make a wish. Forget it. He's not getting our gold. Yeah. Now are you our friend? Turn that thing off! I hate that sound. I hate snow, I hate cold, and most of all, I hate talking to strangers. And don't talk to them. Oh, why don't you make yourself useful and bring me some magic seeds? Then maybe I'll help you cross that bridge. Maybe I don't want to give you seeds. 
Huh. Have your choice. Magic seeds. I didn't think you'd find any. Fine. You can have this. It'll lower the bridge. Now skedaddle. You don't want a cup of tea or a cup of soup or anything? Gargoyle's eye. All right, let's take care of that then. Definitely felt like a bit of the Jack and the Beanstalk reference there. Maybe that was Jack. Over here, child. This way. Ugh. Whoa, who's this guy? Hello, handsome. Why, that wasn't Yaga. It was one of those wily winter wraiths. Those tricksters can take any form. But I'm no wraith, trust me. I'm Lord Vladimir, and nothing invades my kingdom without a fight. He is Lord Vladimir. They told me you'd come. Here, take my signet ring. It'll get you into town. Let's meet there, as soon as I'm done wrestling wraiths. He does have this nasty scar across the front of his face there, ouch. So we have here a royal signet ring. Time for us to move forward, our inventory has been emptied out. Uh, something's going on in the tree here. Ooh, sticky things in the tree. You like his hair? It's fab. So fabulous, it's hashtag fabulous. Oh, the good old string puzzle. Do 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 do. Put this in the middle. Let's see here. What do we got for options? Put that over there. Somehow I have to get this over here. How's that gonna work? Squish them all in there, I guess? Yep. Hashtag fab. <laughs> yeah. Interesting place for a cage here. Whoa, was that just an arrow? Well, he has enough hair to do a sassy hair flip. Whoa! That must be one of Vladimir's fire arrows. He's still outside fighting the rats. Totes my goats. Fire is blazing hot. I have to put it out before I can enter. Okay, so we gotta get our spring brush here and clean up this mess here. Winter. Ugh! Get out of here, Winter. Rainbow! So what are these? These are wash bowl pieces. So it's hiding down here. The cellar is hiding down here. The snow will surely melt if I try to carry it in my hand. Well then don't carry it in my hand. Hello? Anybody down here? I'm just gonna take a bunch of your stuff. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? This guy must have been really thirsty. How awkward, Ah. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I have to prepare the wash bowl first? What the heck does that mean? Some sawdust, sure. No. Let's see what we can do. Anything else in here? No, apparently not. I'm uh, interested in how this flower crown would work out. I saw something here. Maybe the sawdust is for here? No. There we go. Scoop up that yummy sap. So 
What about here? Oh, back to the cellar. Okay. I don't know if this is what we need it for. Oh, I see. To kind of act like glue. Oh, wow. Plate of food. That poor guy is, uh, needs something to eat. I guess we're going to put water in here, aren't we? <laughs> Let's talk about food. Let's not talk about food. I don't know if this will work. Throwing snow on it? Oh, I guess it does work. <laughs> Maybe he's born with it. Uh, Maybe it's Maybelline. We have no idea. I'll have another piece of fruit. Thank you very much. And we need a couple puzzle pieces for that. And we need something going on here as well. Well, let's go to the throne room. The wraiths, they play dirty, I'll tell you that. But it's worth all the trouble to protect you, since you're the one who's going to end Morana's reign. Say, do those gifts of yours extend to food preparation? Because I could surely use a bite to eat, hmm? <laughs> again? Again, I'm cooking again! <laughs> this is with this cooking in this game. Oh look, he's just gonna sit on his throne over here while I cook for him. Wow. Just wow. He needs a thousand swords. Does anyone know where that reference comes from? Wow, I can't believe I have to cook again. Need to mop up the oil. He's got like gold over here. He could hire a chef. No, I have to cook for him. He's exhausted. Yes, Game of Thrones is the reference. Well, let's take care of this. You're gonna marry this fella, Kira? Rainbow! Compost apple sage soup coming right up. I should light this with my red hot arrow. <laughs> Myths of the cook. Yeah, I like that. They totally should have named it something not what they named it. I don't remember doing that much cooking in the first Myths of the World. Actually, I don't remember doing that much cooking in any hidden object puzzle adventure game ever. Usually you have to do that once, maybe twice. <laughs> I'll cook up some craft dinner. That's what I should make for this guy. Nom nom, craft dinner. Oh, there you go. See, that's Canadian food. Craft dinner. Let's see. We need the other half of the collar, which is right there. And we need an hourglass, which means we need sand for it. Let's see. And a leaf right there. Crowbar chef. <laughs> Cooking with crowbars. We could do that. A wine decanter, so I gotta serve the guy wine as well? Wow. What's up with the barrel top? What are my options here anyways? Looks like we gotta go back to the throne room. Hey, yeah, you want something to drink? No. Apparently not. Okay. Why do we need a mace? I'm gonna bash somebody over the head with this thing. Uh, 
Oh, right there. Okay, gotcha, Sparkly. I'm expecting a giant spider to pop out. We survived without getting into that situation. Well, let's go. I'm assuming this is a match game. Let's find out. Oh, I see. If I match the animals with their tracks, I'll unlock this mechanism. Hmm. Oh, that actually went with that? Okay. Okay, that was random. I didn't expect that. That's a bear. <laughs> Vladimir is invited to the show. I don't even know what animal has that kind of feet. Elephant. That goes with the eagle. That goes with the duck. Nice. Very good. Let's go to the wine cellar. We're gonna break open a few barrels. We're gonna have a party. Oh, there's the code for that puzzle. I think we've got ourselves a nice bottle of wine here. This lock is rusty, but the mechanism still works. We're gonna have to get that oil. Hey, there, now I've got a plate of food for him. Let's see. There you go. Enjoy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was just basically gather food. I wouldn't really call that cooking. Give him his, uh. Why? This is the wine. best meal I've had in ages. I should retain you as my personal chef. But I know you've got better things to do. Yeah, you think? You're gonna retain me as your personal chef? Not gonna Firebird happen. Fife is an old family heirloom. It's said to have incredible powers. Not that I've ever used it. But here's the key to help you get it. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to do that next. And we have Sparkle over here. Get the Firebird Fife from the vault. Look at that. Couple golden apples to go with our radioactive apple. <laughs> Everybody wants his hair. Uh, let's see here. A red rose. That's a red pencil. That's a rose. We need a mouse, padlock, and a teapot. I'm a little teapot. Yep, yeah, lots of clicky clicky. You are a red rose, look at that. And a padlock. So here's the key, there's the lock. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, please let down your hair. Crossbow. What did he want anyways? He cares for his people. Yeah, he just makes them get him food. So this has to go here. Oh boy. That was actually really straightforward. Uh, we only have two out of four here. Yeah, so that's not good. Can we shoot that down? Nope. Oh, how am I supposed to get that down? I tried to do that. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Vladimir, Vladimir. You may even do that if you make him food first. Still need four of those. Alright. Let's 
go back here. So what else do you want to do, friend? I still have no idea how I'm supposed to be mopping up here. But well, we can go up and break his floor. Oh yeah, actually, thank you, Rose. Flag with the oil. Thank you, thank you. That worked out perfectly. There's a prime example of why I'm happy to be here on Hitbox. Because that was perfect timing. Now, what do I need to do in here? Oh yeah, oil this up. What's inside? More goodies for us to find here. Apple core, that's looking pretty rotten. Oh, we need that. I know we need that. Ew, what the heck kind of bug is that? It's like a slugger without a shell on it. That's gross. Oops, didn't mean to leave. I don't... it didn't look like a caterpillar to me. But I guess anything's possible. Where's that bug? When you need it? And... Ah, oh, stop doing that game, please. Yeah, it could be a larva for sure. It is definitely squishable. We could squish that, no problem. Uh, a spoon? I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, that's actually a broom, oh, okay. <laughs> Nom nom, chocolate covered insects. Key is there. Couple more to go, and then we're done here. Wow, that is very tiny. So now we have four out of four of these thingamajiggies. Well, let's do it. Oh, good heavens. Let's find out what we have to do here. Look at all the animals. If I match them with their favorite food, I'll open the last lock on the vault. Let's see. Did I do that right? I would have loved to have had a indication if I'm doing this properly. Birdies go to worms. Bears get the honey. Did it change color? Is that what it did? I don't think it did. Alright, never mind. Birdie, birdie, where are you going? That should be good. This should be honey. Rabbit. Goes there. What am I missing? Honey and carrot should be switched? Really? I think it's okay now. I'm not sure about... The mouse. What does the... Oh, yeah, the mouse eats cheese. Okay, that doesn't go there, though. 
There we go. Ooh, what's this? Ocarina! Well, not quite. It does look like a musical instrument, though. It's the Wraith again! Come on, run! Follow me! I'll take you through the secret passage! Here are the gates to Morana's lair. Okay. You can summon the Firebird there, and don't you worry about those wraiths. This one just got personal. Just got personal? Here's something for the ferryman, my friend. <laughs> now I'm his friend? I just made him food. You'd think we'd be more than friends by now. Make a note of what Vladimir just told me. Coin. Lord Vladimir and I managed to escape the Wraths and the Wolves. He took me down to the Fairy Pier and went back to mislead the Wraths. Miranda's castle is across the Black River. I must pay the ferryman to get across. I just want to be his very good friend. I don't, you know, like, I don't need to marry him. Oh, he is fabulous. There's no doubt about it. The hair is what it is. You've seen it. I've seen it. Oh, what do we have going on over here? We have our spring brush cleanup. Rainbow. You should see the hand gesture I'm doing for all those rainbows, by the way. It's very appropriate for a rainbow. Rainbow! Okay. Let's dive into this scene here. I need a pair of something. Where does this go? Fish and tackle. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Right, in that order, Kira? Is that what you want to do? In that order? Now, put some earrings over there. They're lovely earrings. Where are the chilies? That look like beef jerky. <laughs> I need to cut it with something. Sickle. I am totally waving like a rainbow every time that rainbow comes up. Rainbow! Wooden crate, get in there! Snow Peter. Oh, would you look at that! Hello, hello! Where have you been all game? This intricate system is missing a few of its pieces. You should see the big grin on my face right now. <laughs> oh, I can't help myself. <laughs> I bet that drawbridge has a mechanism that makes it work. If I could get it going, the drawbridge will draw. It is a beautiful crowbar indeed. Let's see, what do we have here? I, oh, okay, I thought we'd need a crowbar, but clearly we don't. These boards are rotten and old. I could break them with a tool of some sort. Hmm. Which tool would be appropriate for this situation? I wonder, I wonder. Is it a firebird fife? No. Is it a coin? No. Is it a small gear? No. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, look, I don't even want to use it because I know I'm going to lose it. 
Oh well, what are you gonna do? Oh, we're playing like a match game here? Purple. Good. Yeah. No. My memory is off right now. Need a couple to kind of get things sorted here. So that goes there. This shape here is interesting. Matching crowbars. Are they going to be pink? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, there it is. Found you. Well, I thought. Thanks for stopping by the live stream. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I think that uh, performance by that crowbar deserves a standing ovation. Fabulous crowbar it is fabulous. Looks like we're still going to need something else here. Here we go. Ooh, hello. The drawbridge is open. I think I see a ferryman in the mist. The ferryman requires payment for his services. Well, let's give him some money. <laughs> we flick him a coin. Flick. stuff going on here. Oh no, Miranda's wraths have frozen my friend's home. I better find a way to thaw him out. Oh no. I keep forgetting to take a picture of the crowbar that I have. I'll do that someday once I gotta remember though. Alright, let's see where we are here in the game. Uh, let's go back to Vladimir here. Lord Vladimir asked me to get some food and wine for the two of us. Oh, I didn't realize we were sharing. Huh. That's what you get. See, we had a meal. I think we're more than friends if we're breaking bread and having a meal. Lord Vladimir and I managed to escape the rats and the wolves. He took me down. I thought we already did this already. We did. Alright, I think we are out of story and we're also out of time. This is where the live stream is going to stop for today. Thank you all for joining in. Uh, I had a blast. Hopefully you all had some fun too. This is the first official Hitbox live stream for me and I'm ecstatic. I am super happy that you guys were all able to join and we'll be back for more. This is the current plan, right? I'm going to be live streaming Saturdays between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock right here. If you haven't already, uh, followed on the channel here please go ahead and do that that way you'll be emailed when I go live and that is that if you guys have any last minute questions before I sign off go ahead and put those in the chat So that'll do it for me then. I'm going to wave to you. You guys all know that this chat is here all the time, 24-7. So just because I'm not streaming doesn't mean this chat's not here. But that'll do it for me. I'm your Gibbs, and I'll see you soon.